Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a love knot. Now, a love knot is also called a lover's knot or Solomon's knot. Now, you will need to know how to chain, how to do an extended chain, and how to single crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Okay, starting out with a slip knot, the first thing you're going to want to do is chain two. So one and two. Now after you chain two, place a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So locate your second chain, push the hook through, yarn over, bring it through, and place your first single crochet. And that's what it should look like so far. What you're going to do now is called an extended chain. And what that means is you're going to pull or extend the loop on your hook out to reach at least a half an inch in length. Now you can pull this loop out to two or more inches in length if that's what you prefer, but I'm going to pull my loop or chain out to about an inch in length. Okay, so I'm going to bring my loop back down to about an inch, and once you get the length that you like, go ahead and pinch the bottom of the chain with your thumb and middle finger. Now go ahead and yarn over your hook and chain one. Now I want you to take notice of how many strands of yarn are in a chain. Notice there are three strands of yarn. There is a strand in the back and two strands of yarn that are a little more connected together in the front. Now the strand in the back is called the back ridge. And the back ridge is where we will always place our crochet hook. So go ahead and place your crochet hook into the back ridge of the chain and now place your first single crochet. So go ahead and yarn over, bring the hook through that back ridge. There should now be two loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over again. Draw the hook through the two loops and there's your first love knot. Now I'm going to keep demonstrating this. So go ahead and pull your chain out again to about an inch in length or however long you'd like it to be. Now chain one. Now after you chain one, insert your hook into the back ridge of the chain. So again, there's the two loops in the front and the back ridge in the back. So insert your hook into the back ridge of the chain, yarn over, pull through the back ridge, and place another single crochet. And there's your second love knot. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this for you one more time. And there's your third love knot. Now the love knot can be used in several different ways and for several different patterns. And I'm going to show you just one of the ways you can move on to the second row. But remember, there are several different variations to this. Okay, so in this example, I completed 12 love knots. In order to move on to the second row, I'm going to skip four extended chains, or if it's easier for you to remember, five single crochets. So count backwards from the first single crochet and go to the fifth single crochet, and that is where we're going to place our first single crochet. Okay, so when you're ready, place your hook into the middle of that single crochet and place a new single crochet over the top of it. All right, so there's your first circle of love knots on the second row. And to continue on, we're going to crochet two more love knots. So you should know how to do your love knots by now. So there's the first love knot. And there's the second love knot. Now on the second row, we're always going to skip one single crochet or two extended chains. So we're going to skip this first single crochet and we're going to add our single crochet into the second single crochet on the first row. So there's your second circle of love knots. We're going to continue following this pattern, so go ahead and crochet two more love knots. Now following the same pattern, we're going to skip the first single crochet 
and place our next single crochet over the top of that second single crochet on the first row. And continuing with this pattern, we're going to crochet two more love knots. So there's your first love knot. And your second love knot. Remember to skip one single crochet and place the next single crochet over the top of the second single crochet on the first row. Go ahead and crochet two more love knots. Now we should be coming up to our very last single crochet. So skip the first single crochet and place the next single crochet over the top of that very last single crochet. And that is one way you can complete the second row. Okay, so now that we're finished, I'm going to hurry and share a couple of quick tips. If you're reading a pattern, you will normally see the love knot abbreviated as LK. The love knot creates a beautiful, delicate, or lacy type look, and I've mostly seen it used for shawls, but I've also seen people use it for hats, dresses, bags, and all sorts of other things. Now I've seen patterns used for this stitch, but diagrams can sometimes be easier to follow for this particular technique. So if you're looking for an example of a love knot diagram, go to my YouTube description box and you will find a great link by Patrick Liddy. And thank you Patrick for giving me permission to share this link. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope you have a great day.